It feels like it's the administration that's pushing it because the mayor made such a big push last week. Um, but the thing that I think we need to look at, even as a council, is that this legislation for the sick leave was not written by any of us. It might have been promoted by a particular council person who just spoke, Ms. Williams. It was never written by any of us. It was not written by any of our staff. It was just taken from an outside group with great ideas, great concepts, which we still all believe in. But when it comes to implementing anything in your city, the city and its residents and the people who are affected at the have to be the ones to make those decisions. And I'm going to take part of that blame because I initially attempted to meet with you know, all parties concerned. And then I thought about it, I said, why isn't the person who promoted this ordinance even participating in any of the uh, meetings with the rest of the community? So for you to say now that this is not the administration, it's kind of like, I'm not quite sure who, who is it, who's really producing this. We really did not do it. Normally our, our uh, resolutions are written by staff or corporation council or someone, but this was different. This was written by an outside group and brought to us. And we are now saying, wait, we need to review this. That's all we're saying. Uh, review this and see if this is best for all of those concerned. And, and I really need to make that point. And I think I was a, a remiss because I should have asked uh, Rebecca Williams as the council person to, to participate with us. She did not. Uh, but the mayor and her and others <laughs> determined that they were going to support and push this through just like it is. And I think that was wrong. And I think that we are coming to the point now we've got to come together and see which way we can do it and make it fit for Plainfield. And I don't think anybody's against the idea again. I'll say that over and over again. Those who are upset at me now from the outside group, I'm really sorry. But you don't live here. And we have to make that work for Plainfield. And I think we can if we want to go for it. A comment in response since um, some misinformation was just passed uh, passed out. Um, we don't write all of our ordinances. Often, there when we pass the municipal reform ordinance, there are model ordinances that we often use for these kinds of things. Um, the insinuation that you know maybe it's not me, maybe it's the administration and me because the mayor you know sides with. President Obama on the issue of earned sick leave. Um, I mean, I think that's just a, you know, gratuitous um, 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 being put out there. This ordinance, I read everything that comes across my packet. This ordinance, when it was first introduced several months ago, passed seven to nothing. I spoke to the council person who just was speaking about it after uh, the passage and when it came up as a question. It was a conversation um, and she said, after I explained it, she said, oh, I'm very much in support of it. Thank you for explaining this to me. So to now say that, you know, well, to admit that you don't read things carefully or at all and then to insinuate that the administration, you know, is pushing this, nobody pushes me. This is a good ordinance. It's been it's been um, passed in Newark, New Jersey. Mayor Raz Baraka thinks it's a good ordinance. Mayor Stephen Fulop thinks it's a good ordinance. So do all the other municipalities that have passed this ordinance. Um, and I know that we have four co-sponsors for the ordinance, so I'm confident that it will pass tonight on first reading. Um, in, in terms of a meeting that was being scheduled that may have to be rescheduled, you know, that meeting still can occur, obviously, but that doesn't mean that we need to table or we need to do anything but pass this on first reading. I hope that everyone understands that the group Working Families for Plainfield, Ms. slaughter Cabell, who came up, Ms. Loki, and a number of the people who came up last week are all Plainfield residents. I've been in meetings 
Councillor Greaves was in meetings. These are plain field people. It's not an outside group. So that characterization is just wrong. It's just plain wrong. Um, thank you. I just have something real quick to say about the. Uh, I think all of our, all of us are in favor of paid sick leave. It's not. It's, it's the way it was done. The a lot of the local businesses were not included in the discussion, and we can't just think that we're going to satisfy some residents and not all. I think it's unfair to pass a resolution on earned paid sick leave if every business was not included in the process. So that's where I stand tonight. And I just okay. Um, first, let me start by saying that um, I am in full support of um, the sick leave, but we also have to remember that there is another side of the coin. There is the business community that seems to have not been given the opportunity to hear or to discuss all of all of the different things that's in this bill. So therefore, we know what the problems are. There is no reason for me to go over it again saying, you know, this, that. We all, what we need to do is to get together. And what I recommend is that we get together, the business community, every all the stakeholders, all the stakeholders in this playing field, because we just keep pointing fingers here and there and it's everybody else's fault. What we need to do is to get together and discuss this situation so that everybody has some skin in the game. Because if we give the sick leave and then there's no business for them to work, what happens? Okay. Amen. So we all have, we all have to get together. This is something that is us, it is ours. And we need to get together and make it work and work for the benefit of everybody. So what I would recommend, there is going to be a meeting tomorrow night. I would recommend that we table this until we have the meeting so that we at least get some guidelines. And that's my... Can she put them on? At the time that the ordinance is At the time of the, of the, of the reading. Of the yes. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. And, and of course, <laughs> the title be read. Uh, I've been involved in the reading of the ordinance by the chair for MC 2015-37. I move the ordinance be adopted on first reading, and if adopted, that the clerk shall advertise this ordinance as required by law, and that the second reading of said ordinance shall be held at a regular meeting in the Municipal Court Council Chambers located at 325 Watchon Avenue, Plainfield, New Jersey, on Monday, October 13, 2015, at 8 p.m., or as soon thereafter as the matter can be heard. Second. In light of uh, the discussion tonight, I'd like to make a motion that we table this ordinance uh, indefinitely. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, roll call. It's a roll call to table MC Indefinitely. Indefinitely. Council members, Greets. Yes. Uh, Storch. No. Taylor? Yes. Tolliver? Williams? No. Chairman Brown? No. Council President? Yes. Four in favor, three opposed. Motion to table has passed.